Hello, family and friends. Listen, I bought this plant about late spring, right before summer came in. I brought a plant. I don't really care for plants like that, but I was hearing that, you know, plants are good for you. They're good for you in your home. Um, something about the oxygen with the plants and it's supposed to be overall beneficial for your health and clean your air out and all of this good stuff. So, you know, I'm not home enough because I'm always working to be like taking care of a plant. But I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get this plant because I'm for anything that's going to help me. Anything has anything to do with health. So I got the plant. I brought it home and it looked cute, you know, but eventually after a couple of days, I was, I was watering the plant after a couple of days. I, I noticed that the plant looks like that the leaves were falling off. And so I started thinking like, this was a conspiracy. Every time I come home, I'm like, it's my kids, you know, picking this plant apart. I'm like, you know what? I don't know what's going on, but I, I just continue to water the plant and call myself taking care of the plant. And the plant continued to just fall apart. I was so discouraged with the plant that I had told um, a, a family member of mine. I said, listen, you can take this plant, you know, when you come back over here. Just, just take the plant with you and, and take it to your house. And, and she was like, yeah, you know, I can grow plants. I can, I can do this. I said, okay, well, you know, when you come back over, make sure you get this plant out of my house because I, I am abusing the plant. Either me or my children, we are abusing this plant. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and need you to go ahead and take this plant up out of here and bring some life back to it and do something better to it. So time went on and she never came to get the plant. So what I did was the plant literally was just dying, y'all. It was just gone. I mean, it started off with probably about seven or eight good leaves or whatever. A couple of was coming in and out, but eventually it probably barely had one leaf on there. It was bad. So guess what I did? I said, well, let me at least get this plant out the house because it was going to start creating little nets and, you know, it wasn't doing anything. It just looked at bad. So I took the plant and I put the plant on my back porch. And when I put the plant on my back porch, look, look, look y'all, I left the plant for dead. I was like, listen, it's just going to be back there until I get ready to either do one or two things, either throw it away or give it away. And then so I had a couple friends came by and they said, well, you know, all you need to do is just go ahead and the, the, the plant needs a bigger pot and it needs this or maybe it needs some different dirt and all this kind of stuff. So I'm like, look, by this time, I don't look, I'm over it. OK, so I left the plant outside. I literally left the plant for dead. I didn't care no more. Who cares? So I, every now and then I may open up my back door and go outside. So. I opened up my back door a couple of times while the plant was out there to go outside. And I noticed that mm, the rest of the little leaf or two had just fallen off. And the poor little plant just looked like it was just gone. So after the one or two times that I noticed that the plant looked it pretty bad, I didn't care nothing about it. I just left it back there. It wasn't hurting anybody. So months had went by. Months and months had went by. And then all of a sudden, I go outside on my back porch Look at the plant, probably about a week or so ago. Go look at this plant. This plant had more leaves on it than when I first purchased the plant. It blew my mind, so I, I think I didn't pay it too much attention, but I was amazed. And then I, I remember asking my daughter, I said, did you see this? How did this plant do this? And I never gave it any water. I didn't do anything. I didn't feed the plant. How did it grow like that? She said, mama... Uh, it, it, it rained. I said, oh, okay, it rained. So I still, it still didn't down on me what had happened. And then yesterday I went out there and I saw like some, some, some baby plants, some, some, some more plants coming from the bottom and they were like little baby plants. So I got so excited. And you know, I, you know, I'm so, I, I'm, you so, I'm so into God and what he do in, in, in nature. It blew my mind. So I looked at this plant and then all of a sudden I got this revelation that God says that when you throw something away that you can't handle, when you just give it to me, when you just let it go, leave it alone and you give it to me, I'll work it out for your good. So I started dancing when I got that revelation. I said, look at this. I didn't feed this plant. I didn't touch this plant. I left this plant out here for dead. And look what God did. The Bible says he reigns on the just, just as well as the unjust. He going to make sure the just eat. He going to make sure the unjust eat. God was still reigning. God took care of that plant. See, look, this is the plant. Look, I, I'm not a plant.
plant lover. So I wasn't so excited just because it was a plant, but I was excited because God reminded me when you're in a situation and it's too much for you to handle and it just looked like it's dead. It looks like all else has failed. God say, leave it alone. Give it to me. Throw it over there to me. Don't even look at the situation no more. And I will work this thing out for your good. And it reminds me of the Bible scripture that tells us when Jesus was telling us about don't worry about what we should eat or what we should drink. Because if God would take care of plants and the, the lilies in the valleys, if he would take care of the birds, he said the birds don't store up food, but they eat every day. He said if God would make sure that the birds eat, if God would make sure that the, the lilies of the valley is dressed up. He said, don't you know that you are more valuable than some lilies and some birds? You think he not going to take care of you? See, I'm telling you, I got a revelation from this that have blew my mind. But I want to encourage somebody today that whatever that situation is that has gotten out of your control, whatever it is that seems like it's too hard for you to bear, there is a father who can bear when you can't bear no more. There is a father who can do something with that situation that you can't do nothing with. He reminded me of that when I saw my plant. But I can also say that he reminds me of that every day that I live and I breathe. Because I know from some of the bad choices that I made in my past, I shouldn't be here today. But he reminded me that I would never leave you nor forsake you. And then it kind of reminded me of this. I went to the scripture. It was in John chapter 15. And Jesus said, he says, I am the vine. You are the branches. As long as you abide in me and not abide in you. He said, you can ask whatever you will and it shall be done unto you. Listen to what Jesus told us. He said, I'm the vine. He said, as long as you abide on in me, as long as you stay connected to me, you're going to produce some fruits in your life. He says this, he says, but if you are a branch and you are connected to the vine, but you are not abiding in me like you're supposed to. And I'm really not abiding in you. He said, the father going to cut you off. That's another part of the verse. But because I don't want to leave you with all of the good stuff and just don't tell you about the other stuff. Because some people, I'm, I'm going to let you go. But some people think that, oh, yeah, I'm in God. And, yeah, I know Christ and I'm saved. But at the same time, they are connected to him, but they're not producing no fruit. That's a whole nother subject. Because if you're not producing no fruit and you connected to Christ and the fruits are not being produced, joy, love, peace, and all this good stuff is not being produced out of your life. You got to check yourself and say, am I really connected? Did I get cut off? Did I fall off? Did I fall? Did, 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 did my branch fall off of his vine? Because I say this, if you are a branch and you was connected to Jesus, but you fell off some kind of way, you ain't going to be able to produce no fruit. You're going to need to get back connected, get back on that vine, get back on that tree and get back connected so you can produce good fruit. So let, let me end with this. Let me end with this. Be encouraged. If you are on that vine, be encouraged that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. And even if you're not on that vine, trust me, he loves you just that much that he's going to try to help pick you up and put you on that vine. Just call on him in the name of Jesus. But I am reminded today and I wanted to remind somebody else. First of all, get connected. If you ain't connected, if you was connected and you got unconnected and get back connected. And then another thing is this, know this and be encouraged today for the ones who are connected. Know this, that he will never leave you nor forsake you. And, and the good thing about that verse is in John chapter 15 is this. I'm going to say this to you. Just because you are connected to the vine, it does not mean that you won't make mistakes. It does not mean that you won't have some type of shortcomings in your life. It does not mean that. You know why? Because the scripture says this. He says, if you are connected to me, and even if you're just producing a little bit of fruit, the Bible says that God will start cleansing you and purging you and cleaning all that mess up off of you so you can produce more fruits. The only one he was going to just take and throw away and cut off the vine is the ones who's just hanging on there, but they just hanging on there for benefits, but they're not really interested in doing anything or becoming anything or talking about God or talking about Jesus because he says if you deny if you if you deny me in front of men Jesus said I'm going to deny you before the father so what I'm saying to you whether you connected or disconnected or whatever he still loves you he still loves you and if you heard if you hear this video that means you still have one more chance 
to get it right. In Jesus' name. God bless you. I love you. I just want to let you all know today, put it in God's hand. If it's a dead thing, if it's a thing you can't fix, if it's the thing that's just messing up and going all bad, listen, put it in God's hand. Let it go. Don't even think about it no more. Just think like it's dead. Just think like it's dead. And just watch him work it out like he did my plant. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He did that to my plant, y'all. He did it. In Jesus' name, be blessed. God bless you. I love you. Always praying for you. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. Bye-bye.